Hello my friend, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Spotify artist account and become a artist on Spotify. So to create an official Spotify artist account, you need to already have music up on Spotify and then claim your artist profile via your music distributor or directly from the Spotify artists claim page. The very first step to creating your very own Spotify artist account is to actually get your music up on Spotify. And thankfully this is way easier to do today if you have not yet completed this step. Uh, before I continue, as you can see here, I've also written an article on this topic. So if you'd like to follow along or if you simply prefer the written word format, simply Google create a Spotify artist account best friends club. So as I mentioned, there are two main methods to actually claiming your Spotify artist profile. The first is through your music distributor. So that might be DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby, th that kind of thing, as well as manually claiming your profile through Spotify. So starting from the very beginning, you need to submit your music to Spotify with a music distributor. Wait for your music to be ingested by Spotify. So basically you submit your music, it gets sent to Spotify, and then it will take maybe three to seven days for them to receive it and get it built into the system. And then you can actually claim your Spotify or artist profile by using one of the methods that I'll show you in this video. So if you already have music live on Spotify, then you can skip ahead in this video, or else I'll just quickly go over how you can get set up with your music on Spotify. So the very first step is to get set up with a music distributor. And thanks to new music distribution companies like DistroKid, it is now incredibly easy and cheap to get your music live on Spotify and other streaming services. So I've mentioned them a couple of times. I actually personally use and recommend DistroKid. And if you'd like to get signed up with them, you can save 7% on your first year with them via the link in my description. But also in this article, um, I have a couple of comparisons of DistroKid versus other uh, music distributors. So DistroKid versus TuneCore versus CD Baby versus Muse versus Ditto versus United Masters and versus SoundCloud. So honestly, I think uh, DistroKid is a game changer because they allow you to have unlimited song uploads for a small annual fee and they don't take any percentage as opposed to other distribution companies where you have to pay per release and it can get quite expensive. But with that said, it's always a good idea to do your research. So if you are still on the first step of getting your music on Spotify, I definitely encourage you to check out the comparisons that I have in this article, as well as I do have a big DistroKid review if you want to check that out as well. Then once you've selected a distributor, now all you have to do is submit your music. It's super simple. Basically, you're going to want to just log into your distributor's backend, fill out your song's details, upload your artwork and your music, and uh, select which streaming services you want to send it to. Obviously, Spotify will be on that list and you could submit it and you're good to go. And before continuing, you should definitely know that you need to have your music on Spotify before you can continue to this next step, which is actually claiming your artist account or profile. So with the basics out of the way, there are two ways that you can now claim your official profile. As I mentioned, the two ways are through your music distributor and manually claiming your profile with Spotify. However, the fastest and easiest way to do this by far is by using your music distributor, particularly if you're using a distributor on Spotify's preferred music distributor list. And on that list, it includes DistroKid, CD Baby, TuneCore, and a few others as well. If you can stick to one of those, then you're gonna have a much easier time setting this up. So with this method that is way easier with the music distributor, in almost all cases, all you have to do is log into the back end of the music distributor and click a few buttons. The reason for that is they have all of the information of your artist profile already set up. So it's just a matter of them quickly sending off that information to Spotify. This is why it's way quicker and easier for you to do it with this method. At least with DistroKid, a real quick way that you can do this is by clicking on your stats button, then going to Spotify for artists, clicking your uh, Spotify for artist name and pressing get access. It'll then send you over to the Spotify for artists backend where you can agree to connect the two accounts and set everything up. Again, from there, it's just a few buttons, but if you'd like to do this manually, I will also show you how to do that as well. The second option to create a Spotify artist profile is to claim your profile manually on Spotify. This method isn't recommended because it takes a lot longer and requires a lot more work on your part. So the way that you actually do this is by visiting artists.spotify.com forward slash claim, and you need to make sure that you have music on Spotify first or that you have recently submitted your first release. After visiting that claim page, it's really just a matter of following the instructions 
instructions given to you on that page. And I will walk you through that very quickly right now. So I have a link to the claim page in the article. Uh, once you land on the claim page, it'll look like this. In most instances, you'll want to click the artist or manager option. Then you will have to actually log into your average listener Spotify account. If you don't have one, you can make a brand new one and you can use the free account and you don't need to be on premium to get access to this. Um, moving on, you will need to search up your artist's name and find it in the little search box. If your artist name is not searchable, then you can click the can't find the artist little button and it'll open up this little dialog box. From here, what you can do is find your actual Spotify profile and then uh, click on the little dots and click share and then select the URI and paste that URI into this artist link here. If you are not yet on Spotify, then you can actually reach out to your distributor and potentially find it in the back end or contact them to get that URI. If you've just submitted your first release and it is not fully on the Spotify system yet. From there, you'll need to select your, your role, which in most cases will probably be artist and make sure that your artist name is selected and click the next button. Uh, then from there, you're actually gonna need to verify that you are the artist. So you're gonna wanna connect things like Twitter and Instagram and add any other supporting links like website pages or anything like that to prove that to Spotify that you actually are the artist so then you can get access to the official Spotify artist account. So as you can see, it is much easier to do it through the music distributor than it is to do it manually through the Spotify for Artists claim page. But with that said, what are the actual benefits of getting one of these official accounts. If you aren't yet sold on the idea of getting an official Spotify artist profile, there are actually quite a few great reasons that you should claim your Spotify art of profile and making your project look more official is only a small one. So obviously you do get that blue verified check mark on your profile, but you're also able to update your profile, biography and social links. You can choose an artist pick, which could be a song, an album or playlist that shows at the top of your profile. You also get access to enhanced data and analytics in the Spotify for Artists dashboard. You're able to choose a fundraising pick, which could either be a charity or a straight to artist donation option. And you also get the ability to pitch your music to Spotify editors for the chance to get on lucrative Spotify editorial playlists. Also some extra things that you should know about Spotify artist accounts is that you do need a free or premium Spotify listener account to create a Spotify artist account. The Spotify artist account is actually a separate account from the Spotify listener account. The blue verified check mark will show up on your artist profile only. Nothing changes on your listener account. It's what I mean by that. You cannot create playlists with your Spotify artist account. You need to make them with a listener account and then add it to your profile via the Spotify for artist dashboard. Not every artist account is the same. Some distributors may get access to new features early, for example, and some labels may get some access to some features early as well. Uh, the only way to pitch to Spotify editors is via the Spotify artist dashboard. You can actually reach out to Spotify support via the Spotify for artist dashboard and ask for your listener account to be upgraded so that you can add links to the description of your playlist. So with that said, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff so you can see more videos like this. Other than that, good luck on your next release. Good luck on claiming your Spotify artist profile and I will see you in the next video, my friend. Have a good one.